Students, moving on to the next question. Please make a note here, students. This is a question which was asked in the previous year. So, from this you can see that it's a very important question. A person wants a real image of his own three times enlarged. Where should he stand in front of a concave mirror of radius of curvature of 30 centimeters? The options given are option A, 30 centimeters, option B, 20 centimeters, option C, 10 centimeters, and option D, 90 centimeters. So let us solve the problem. Here they have given us the radius of curvature which is written as 30 centimeters. From this we can find out the focal length which is equal to 15 centimeters. Now read the first sentence. There they have given a person wants a real image of his own three times enlarged. Here we can introduce the magnification formula which is given as m is equal to minus v by u. From this, what we can write is v is equal to 3 times of u. So, using the mirror formula, what we can write is 1 by f is equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v. So, now students what we can notice here is 1 by minus 15. The negative sign indicates that it is for a concave mirror which is equal to 1 by u plus 1 by 3u. So, which is equal to minus 1 by 15 equal to 1 by u into 4 by 3. Now, let us cross multiply. What do we get it as? Minus 3 by 15 is equal to 4 by u or u by 4 is equal to minus 15 by 3 u is equal to minus 60 by 3 which is equal to minus 20 centimeters. That is the correct option for this particular question is option B 20 centimeters. Students, I would like to stress a point here. Rather than doing all these lengthy steps, we have a shortcut method to be learned. What is that shortcut method is? In your theory classes, you would have learnt about ray diagrams where you have to form the image at different positions of the object. For a real image, the object should be beyond f and for a magnified image, the object should be within 2f. That is clubbed together, the object should be placed between f and 2f, that is between 15 and 30. So, students, what you can observe here is, out of the four options, we have only one single option where we have the answer that is between 15 and 30, that is option B, 20 centimeters and the rest of the options are ruled out. Moving on to the next question, the size of the image of an object which is at infinity as formed by a convex lens of focal length of 30 centimeters is 2 centimeters. If a convex concave lens of focal length 20 centimeters is placed between the convex lens and the image at a distance of 26 centimeters from convex lens, find new size of image. The options are Option A 0.5 centimeters, option B 1 centimeter, option C 2 centimeters, and option D 2.5 centimeters.
So now students, let us analyze this problem. We have a convex lens of focal length 30 centimeters. An object which is placed at infinity, the parallel rays are incident on the convex lens such that they will converge at the principal focus after refraction where we obtain the image. The size of the image they have given it as 2 centimeters. Now they have placed a concave lens in between the image and the convex lens. They have placed a concave lens in between the convex lens and the image. It is at a distance of 26 centimeters from the concave lens. They have given the focal length of the concave lens as 20 centimeters. Students, please make a note here. The real image of the convex lens will behave as the virtual object for the concave lens. Therefore, the object distance we can write it as 4 centimeters. Now, they have asked us to find out the new size of the image which can be calculated by the formula m is equal to hi by ho or hi is equal to m into ho. So, we are supposed to find out the magnification which is given by the formula m is equal to f divided by f plus u. Here the focal length of the concave lens they have given it as 20 with the sign convention we can write it as minus 20 divided by minus 20 plus 4. So now further simplification we have m is equal to minus 20 divided by minus 16 therefore we obtain the magnification as 5 by 4. Now let us substitute in this particular formula and obtain the new size of the image that is written as hi is equal to 5 by 4 into 2. Height of the image which we obtain will be 2.5 centimeter. So the correct option for this particular question is option D which is 2.5 centimeters.